Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Brand new cozy drop. Good company. Third Street Athletics, Third Street Apparel, Third Street Barbell. If you guys want to grab, we got hoodies, a couple of tees, beanies, fully custom premium training shorts, the coziest sweatpants you will ever put on. Your legs, them thighs, will thank you. Check it out, www.3sb.co. As always, I appreciate you. Trying to make these one-off, fully custom drops so everything we made right now will never come back. Check it out. Everything's limited. www.3, the number three, the letter S, B dot C, O. Good morning, kids. Happy Saturday. Oh, excuse me. I just had a coffee and a cookie. I'm caffeined out of my mind. Oh, uh, heavy pull day. Lately, I've been pulling twice a week. Tuesday-ish, kind of an accessory, whether it's uh, the Candido wide deadlift or maybe conventional. And then Saturday, sumo, a little heavier top set. So uh, gonna wiggle my way up to 545. The boys are showing up, got the whole crew in. Uh, Joe from Hyperthrive's in town. Um, our homie Nick stopping by. Nick is a, a top level USPA drug tested lifter. Um, so it should be a little, uh, little party. It's a little chilly. I want to ride my bike today. Um, bicycle but uh, it's like 40 degrees and my limit to be on a bicycle is probably like give or take 50 degrees so it's 55 so it's still 10 o'clock jamming out I'm gonna vlog the whole thing for you um, hopefully we're feeling good I've been up way too early woke up at 630 my schedule is just flipped now I try to buy the Jordan 4s I missed out comment below if you guys are sneakerhead if you grab the Jordan 4s I'm not into the retail game I'm not into the robot game dude I'm trying to talk dude Oh, sorry, man. I didn't know you were. My bad. Hello, dude. Yeah, my bad. Hey, he's he's, he's doing. Hey, stuff. man. It's Silent Mike here. <laughs> hey, guys. Just want to tell. You. <laughs> hey, dude. They think they're funny. Have I ever communicated with you guys like that? Not once. I'm me. I'm not YouTube Mike haters. Anyway, sneakerheads. I'm not in the retail game. Everyone's doing bots and trying to make cash. I'm for the love of the game. I love basketball. I grew up in the Jordan era. I just like clothes and sneakers, so I like to buy them myself. And if not, probably buy them used or something. I like to wear my sneakers. I like to play hoop in my sneakers. I don't like to just buy them retail for 800 bucks, flash them on Instagram like I'm a sneakerhead. No hate to you all. If that's the game you like, that's not the game I like. So I missed out on the fires. Here we go. Time to pull squat heavy. What's up, kids? Uh, decent little day. So, uh, 4 95 for easy single. Things start to feel good. 5 45 for a trip. Felt pretty decent. I talked about it on Instagram a little bit. I'm a little more hunched over than I'd like, but also, depending on the angle you film, that's just kind of how I got a pull. Uh, I got a longish torso. I got real uh, stubby little T Rex arms. And that's what it's gonna end up looking like. Although I'm following the very similar principles to some of your favorite lifters and some of the best in the world, I can't get in that position. I can improve on my current position, but I can't look the same as them. Uh, super vertical, shins, torso, really flexing those quads. I do the best I can uh, with what you got. But once you kind of break down the principles, you can optimize how you move, um, but some of it's just gonna, it's just, it's just all she wrote. Um, and so I've got comments all over the time. I'm too hunched over, I'm too over the bar. When you got a longer torso and short arms, your deadlift's gonna look different than some of the best pullers in the world that tend to have longer arms, shorter torso. Um, even guys in here, you know, they'll ask me for advice and say, oh yeah, I was trying to pull like Eddie Cohn. The vast majority of us are not built like Eddie Cohn. Eddie Cohn's an insanely gifted lifter, worked his tail off, insanely consistent, strong guy, but he's also built to pull the way he pulled and that's why he crushed weights. If you got small femurs, smallish torso and long arms, kind of built like a gorilla, you can kind of pull conventional or sumo and you'll look in a good position, but the majority of us aren't like that. Our hips aren't gonna look as low um, and we're not gonna be as vertical, even as, even as conventional, his torso is kind of vertical. The angle from his femur to his torso is a little bit different. So it's just about micro adjustments over a long period of time, constantly getting that work. And you can still get stronger even though things aren't perfect. So today wasn't my optimal form. I probably could move my stance in actually and kick those late knees out a little bit and I'll get a little bit more vertical, be able to press with my quads. But uh, overall, good strong day, biggest pull day yet. I pulled 545 for a single once, but hitting the triple gave a little bit of confidence. Back down uh, 495 again, triple felt good. Hit some squats, although they moved really well, I think four, 4, 4, 425 or so for a trip, 
Uh, I'm saving a big squat day. We've got a special guest in the next vlog. Special guest, I believe. So I'm going to try to lift nice and early on Monday with him. Um, but otherwise, uh, can't complain. Fun training with the boys, music jamming, a little chilly in here. Uh, I might have a rest of the vlog going, but if not, I appreciate you guys, man. Take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. Surround yourself with good company. Um, and we'll be back, man. New videos all the time. So be sure to subscribe. Comment below if you guys got any tips or anything you want. I'm going to try to get more lifestyle business stuff. But right now, it's just a grind of lifting and working. So uh, I appreciate you. I'm excited to vlog. Excited to be back. And excited for your guys' support. Uh, clothes coming real soon. So we're going we're gonna to keep you updated on that. The photo shoot should be in this vlog or the one before. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Um, thank you guys so much, man. Well, it's been a while because we built this gym. And I've been busy building the apparel and stuff. I have not streamed. But... I have not forgot about my Twitch fam, and if you guys are here, man, you guys are the best. Um, we had a deal, 500 subs, and I dye my hair, and we agreed on frosted tips for the whole mullet, but money and scheduling, barbershops have been open and closed, and then it's really expensive to get it well done. So we're gonna do a little tester, like an appetizer to keep you guys going. I'm gonna do a Jedi braid bleach. Uh, we'll see what it looks like. Um, and then eventually I owe you guys a 24 hour stream, and I owe you guys my dye, but Jen knows how to bleach, so we're gonna do that real quick. That looks like something else. Is this supposed to look like that? Disgusting, yes. I'm disgusting. I don't know who you look like. But I like it if you play me by the hour. My hair's long, huh? Yeah, it's pretty long. Yeah, it's down to my it's, butt it's butt. It's curly. Yeah, it's super long. Have you straightened it? Uh, back in the day I had, um, like as long as it is in the back, I had it my whole head though. Whoa, Whoa. big boy! Whoa. Whoa, big Let's see it looks good, product, huh? dude. Let me see. What'd you do, Come dude? On. I'm trying to look at it. Would you, dig dude? It? Honestly, if I saw you it's on cool. if I saw you on Tinder or Bumble, I'd swipe right. Why don't? What? what? Or I'd give you a super life. How about, you, how about, super how about life, real life, dude? How about we live in real life for once? So you want me to swipe right on you in real life? Well, I just want to live in real life and be like, wow, that guy must be a real creator. His hair is very unique. You look very arti artiste-like. You're an artiste, dude. Let me see, dude. You gotta... Hold on. 